All right. I saw this filament buffer. This is uh, passive driven, um, self-containing. It's called a filamentalist. I think uh, it is a GitHub. What is it? Uh, ski bike print forward slash filamentalist. It has all the information in there. Pretty simple print. Uh, two plates. I forgot how many hours, like five or seven hours. Anyways, instead of having a spool stand and a buffer that leads to the carrot feeder, everything is contained on this and is solely driven with the movement of the filament. There is a one-way clutch where it doesn't go forward, but it will go backwards, and that will drive the filament in and out. So to show you, here is a filament. It'll fit there. The biggest challenge I think with everything else is initial load, unlike the bamboo. So it will go between the slot. There is a wheel with the rubber o-ring. It will ride between that. Uh, come on. It's stuck somewhere. Yeah, to strain this a little bit more. So let's try this again. This will sit, you manually feed it in, and then you'll go through carrot feeder. Don't mind all this mess. This is actually, uh, I'm converting my version 1.1 to uh, version 2. I had to print all these parts out. You can see it's a version 2. Bought the hardware kit for like 35 bucks. Just have to reuse the old ones to finish that up. Hopefully that get that thing done in a couple weeks. Anyways, so the way this works, you can see it right out of the way. You pull the filament out as it prints. But when you filament retracts, the reverse clutch will lock everything up and then it will rotate the spool. No more buffer. This is so nice. I think everybody should try one of these if you have a carrot feeder. The only thing is, it did mention that the NEMA 14 might not be strong enough to drive this back and forth because the uh, film is on the compression between the O-ring and this top uh, 3D printed bearing. You can use regular bearing, but I printed uh, 3D printed them. But it's good. I'm gonna put that in the next day or two to see how well it performs on the print.